Japan is a country with a long history and an amazing culture. Japan Treasure Hunters is on the quest to find it and bring it to you. Hey, welcome to Japan Treasure Hunters, season five. Robert, we're on five. Five. Well, you're on five. Yeah, I'm, I'm on, on five. like, what, four, three, four? Yeah, I think three, four. Yeah. So, yeah, something like that. Anyway, today for the season premiere, we've got an awesome guest, Matt Okahara. Matt, tell us about yourself. Well, actually, first off, if you follow the channel a couple of weeks back, true. Well, by the time we air more than a couple of weeks back, we did have a little guest appearance. Yeah, that's right. They did uh, find a bullet previously, but I'll introduce myself. I'm Matt Okahara. I'm from um, the UK, but now I live here in Japan in Matsumoto. And I'm uh, from the Gun Samurai channel, which is a Samurai shooting team, uh, based so samurai shooting team. You're shooting at samurai. No, no, not not shooting at samurai. We got samurai era guns that are about two, three hundred years old, and we're based at Matsumoto Castle, and we use samurai tactics from um, the Monishige you. So if you got some very old scrolls, and we're aiming to be the best shooting team in Japan. Um, so what we do with our our shooting team and our guns is we use Edo era guns, which are two, three hundred years old, and Edo era tactics, and we try and uh, show people that. Samurai warfare was not just about uh, yari, katana, bows. It was actually firearms as well, which were introduced in, introduced in 1543. And we're trying to show that samurai warfare was actually a lot more diverse and a lot more uh, complex than people think. Today we're, uh, we're out on a road, possibly, that we can find some samurai period. Well, yeah, this is the uh, old Takeda route. So between Kai province and Shinano province, um, which is now uh, Yamanashi and Nagano prefectures. Uh, this road was actually built by Takeda Shingen in 1451, not long after he used to uh, usurped the power from his father. Uh, there was a lot of knocking on the door, to use the pun, from the uh, surrounding provinces, and Takeda Shingen built this route because he was a big uh, and avid reader of uh, Sun Tzu's Art of War, and he decided to outflank his enemies. And in order to do that, he didn't find a road, he made a road. And this is that particular road. It's a military supply route, that's all it was ever used for. And um, if there is going to be something to find, this would be a good place to have a look. Sweet. So you said 1451. Mm. Did you mean 1551? That's what I meant. <laughs> uh, that's what I thought you meant. But yeah. there's still, there's a lot of numbers in Japanese history, a lot of dates. And it's just amazing that uh, Matt, he knows a lot of that history. Robert's got some, I got some. But there's still so much more to learn. So hopefully this season we can teach you a little bit more about Japanese history by being actually in it and finding it. So... What do you guys say? You ready to hit it? Let's go and have a look. Yeah, let's do it. On the road again. This is all, this is all built by the um, laborers hundreds and hundreds of years ago. So this, is, this is the... This is the walking trail. Walking in the path, of, the walking in the footsteps of Samurai here. Wow, that, that actually just kind of gives me chills. I mean, you know, like being up in the mountains like we do, walking on the trails, yeah. seeing castle ruins and stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, that's amazing, but we're actually Takeda Shingen, walking on the, or not walking, riding. He would have ridden, yeah. On this trail. Wow. Yeah, wow. I, I still think the pull tabs we find are not going to be from that time period. No, <laughs> no. It, it would be a regular patrol area. Yeah. If you're on a military campaign, you need to patrol your flanks with some reliable guys. You wouldn't send the idiots who are in order to fight. You'd send some pre pretty good guys who are quite self-autonomous and capable of making decisions and they would be working in both sides of the forest with a trail in between looking out for people who are spying on you or people who may be setting up ambushes you would have to have your flank guards in there so then this would be a good spot to hit definitely nice so well, let's let's go down this trail for Just a little bit watch out for ambushes yeah and here i am following a narrow trail with two guys detecting on it in front of me. You think I'm gonna find anything? And just like in Ghostbusters, don't don't cross the stream. Ah, looks like I pulled a Robert. What's that? So I nailed it. Ah. Nice, nice nail, nice nail. So do you know if this road started in Kofu and then come out this way? Or well, Kai province is where it started. I don't know which particular part of the province it started in, but when they was then um, thinking about how, what am I going to do about this potential 
invasion, mm. he, he decided that um, a fence was the best defense, and that's why he created this road. So it starts literally high province. And you saw that map back there. We're, yeah. we're about one third of the way along, so it's, okay. there's another significant distance to this. Okay. Uh, and he finished up in uh, deep into um, Sua, which is the resort town now. I love the one that says two inches and you're down six inches and still can't find it. The uh, hole I just dug over there, I thought it was going to be foil, but uh, apparently I'm shocked. I'm shell shocked. At least it's an interesting bit. Other than foil. Which is funny because it says no gun hunting over there. Yeah, and I found it, you know, a whole uh, 20 yards away from that sign. That? No, it's long over here. It's right there. Got it, what? That is a horseshoe and nail. Modern? Probably. Given the number of horses that are on here. <laughs> so, so, if it's a horseshoe nail, does that mean I have to do a different joke on it? I can't just say nailed it, I have to say nailed it. We're going to do a different one to that. <laughs> <laughs> it was a bit of a stretch, I know, but... So cool. We're on the same road that Takeda Shingen rode his horse on. He didn't walk. Huh? He was above walking. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, no. I have another shell. Another shell. This one's in better condition than the first one I pulled up. But uh, I think it's actually the same caliber. Yeah. So here we have a shell, and uh, I don't know if you're going to be able to pick it up with the camera because it's backlit, but right there is the no gun hunting sign. Got another shell. Another shell. I believe it's the same caliber and everything. It looks it. A little, little better uh, condition than the first one I pulled up, but the base looked the same. Yeah, the same brand, both in the same gun. Quite a large caliber there. Yeah. <laughs> Not supposed to be this deep. Oh, this is interesting. Oh, I don't know. I was ringing up in the high 50s. I don't know. Because that looks like. Yeah. Substantial. Yeah. And it's obviously been there for a very, very, very long time. This has got me intrigued, that right there. Is that metal or is that a stone you just ensconced into the air? Uh... Well, it looks like stone. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's it has a guess at that. I mean, hub cap on a hot cart wheel or something. I was kind of thinking a cart cap on the wheel, but it's really that it's got a nice ring around it right here. Yeah. It's been chambered right here. It, it could have been, yeah, yeah, possible to Takeda cart find, possibly. possibly. I right found on. a pull tab, I'm pretty sure it's not Takeda, yeah. <laughs> right on. Well, let's try to find some of that Takeda gold that's been rumored <laughs> to exist. Well, if it is, it's, on, it's ringing up the lower part of it.
Oh, I know what this is. What's up, man? This would be part of the Kashiwa or, or, or the Kashi, the Kashida. Mm. I'm sorry, it's not, it's the Fuchi. That's the part like the sword and then the little piece that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, sweet. Here. Sweet. Yeah. That's a good find for the first. Th what you got, Robert? Oh, he just got a nail. Yeah. But he's got yeah. string on it. Nail with string on it. So there's actually some more stuff in this little area that. Gonna well, have to. Into further then, I guess. Yeah. Nice. Uh, no, it's round. This looks like a. It, it's not a. Long. Because the other ones that we got were like just regular oval shaped. Yeah. This one's been cut out right here and right there, so decorative. Yeah, custom blade perhaps. Which would be for? Summary. There you go. Yeah, if people could afford it. Nope. Oh, John. Ooh, Robert got one too. Oh, oh it's a Kashida, God. a piece of a Kashida. Hey, Matt, he got one too. Yeah. Right next to, I just dropped it, right next to an airsoft piece. Which Beautiful. I just dropped in my hole, so somebody's gonna dig this someday and go, what's this airsoft thing doing? Six inches under everything else. Beautiful. So there we go. What Found you what got? you've been looking for, Matt. Oh, well, that's gotta suck for that horse. Yeah. So, you know, it makes sense that we're on a horse riding trail that we're gonna find one of these. Granted, this isn't a Takeda time, but still, horseshoe's a horseshoe. Good luck. That modern five yen piece. Looks like it. Yeah. Maybe 50. Nice. May I? Oh yeah, five in. Oh, fade in? You can actually see the kanji on this part here. Five in in my pocket? Yeah. Well, I'll give it to the police first, not for a year off it. <laughs> actually, with the uh, with metal detecting, since you found it under the ground, it's yours. Splendid. Anything that's found on the surface, technically, we have to bring in. Hey, well, I guess we're going to have to call it a wrap on the, the premiere of season five. Yeah, sundown. Sundown, lost a little bit of light. Matt, your first time out, what do you think? Oh, it's really interesting. I even found some things, which is nice. Mostly ring pulls off of cans, but... Oh, that's 90% that's of our day is <laughs> well, those. We, we th I was going to say we found everything but the kitchen sink, but I think I found part of a kitchen sink. So that that yeah. you did. No, I actually did, like just before. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, he literally <laughs> found part of the kitchen sink. How did that end up <laughs> That's my question. Just like here. So Matt, I want to thank you for stopping by, coming out with us. I know it was a good no drive problem. for you to come out. Um, love to have you out here again. Yeah. Love to go to Matsumoto Castle with you one day. Maybe do a tour out there or something like that. I can give you a tour, no problem. That would be awesome. Let you guys see what an actual inside of a castle looks like, and we got a tour guide right here. So I'm I'm satisfied. I'm happy about today, man. We got. Some possible Takeda goods, I not so. not actual his goods, but his time era. His time period. So hey, great premiere. Thanks again for coming out. I enjoyed it. Thanks great for having great. me. And Absolutely. don't forget to like and subscribe. And his link will be posted at the bottom. And actually, if you kind of look right up here, it's right up here also. It, that's going to be put in in post editing. Yes. Okay. So because I I don't see it. Yeah.